Hello everybody and welcome to Ships at War. Ships at War is a 2D physics based battle simulator game where you fight warships. This is quite a fun game so I think I'm just going to jump right into it. We're going to be doing a sandbox battle. I'm going to be the battleship Bismarck and I'm going to be fighting the USS Yamamoto. The USS Yamamoto. The USS Yamamoto... The USS Yamamoto has a slightly smaller fleet power than the Bismarck, but in real life, this was a monster of a battleship. It was huge. Okay, I'm gonna pause it now that we're in. I'm gonna set us to drive over here. So right now, this is the Yamamoto. It looks like they already have a plane taking off. What plane is that? I have no idea. It's paused, but they're still moving. I'm gonna have my 16-inch guns fire right here. My 10-inchers fire, like, back here. Okay, and now all of our rounds are gone off, and they're firing too. Oh, wow, it looks like they're already flooding. Oh, magazine hit. So these are our magazines magazines they basically they, they hold all the ammo for our guns and i just on the first volley i hit their magazines i'm not sure if i exploded them but if you hit the magazines and blow them up it's just crazy it's a lot of explosions and it looks like our shells are going through the top of their deck I'm not sure. Okay, so I think the Yamamoto is sort of glitched in this game because it goes down so easily. We are barely... Actually, do we have water coming in? I don't know. It's flashing. I don't know what flashing water means. I have zero idea. And we're getting more magazines. Oh, they're going down badly. Yeah, they're not going to survive this. So I think it's glitched a little bit. All of the other battleships are way harder to kill as in they don't start flooding in the first 30 seconds. Oh, they're really dipping. Oh, they're dipping a lot. Oh, no. Oh, wow. We're, we're coming in close. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Are we stopped? Are we sure we're stopped? Um, please tell us we're stopped. Oh. Okay, oh no. Okay, I'm not sure what's happened. We hit them because we didn't stop and the front of our ship collapsed, but we completely ripped them in half. So I s assume something good. Uh, remember, this game is still in beta. It's still really in development. A lot of bug fixes have happened already, I've seen. Very good progress. Okay, so the Yamamoto went down quite easily. A bit too easily. But that was battleships fighting. <laughs> that wasn't the best example. I mean, it was quicker than most battleship fights. Most battleship fights slug it out for much longer than that. So now we're going to go into here and we're going to pick out an aircraft carrier. We're going to be the USS Yorktown and go up against the HMS HUD battleship. Okay, so I'm going to pause it straight out. So this is our aircraft carrier. We can see we've got a bunch of groups. We've got one group of Hellcats, Dauntless Dive Bombers, and Torpedo Bombers, and we've got another group of them. We have two 8-inch guns and two in the back. Those don't do anything. Oh no, what? The game's not paused. So now we're in. I'm going to fire. So as you can see, our fighters are all taking off. Our 8-inch guns are rounding out fire. And I think, yeah, our dive bombers are taking off. These are dive bombers. I think so. Wait. Oh, no, these are torpedo bombers. I was like, are you sure? Okay, so as you can see, our fighters are here. They're going up high. Our dive bombers go low, parallel to the water. And then our dive bombers follow our fighters. So right here, you can see all of our... Oh, what? For some reason, all of our dive bombers are dropping their bombs in the water. Oh, and I'm very dumb. I think I'm quite dumb. Okay, so two things happened here. One, my dive bombers somehow, for some reason, dropped here. And two, I told my torpedo bombers to drop here instead of dropping dropping in front of the ship so they swim and they hit the front of the ship i told them to drop here which means they flew over and they just dropped straight onto the ship in real life that wouldn't happen but apparently here they like to drop into giant holes in the ship with giant torpedoes okay yeah that's what it was okay so now our oh whoa that was a magazine hit it i've seen any okay yeah now they're going down Ooh, look at both of their magazines that were here just blew up Oh, they're pulling in water. They're not going to make it till our next round of fighters. Oh, we can see their top of their ship is just falling over. Floating, falling windows. Oh, and we're already going in for the next hit. Did I tell my torpedo? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to tell my torpedo bombers where to go. Oof. Okay. Oh, so the torpedo bombers are supposed to swim, but they don't because I made a mistake. Ugh, I forgot to fix it. I'm so dumb. Okay, torpedo bombers, you're going to drop here. Actually, this thing's just floating in the water. Okay, no, now it's dropped. That's good. Okay, so our dive bombers are now actually bombing the right location, luckily. Okay, so now they're going to be going down quite quickly. Yeah, they're going out. Yeah, so aircraft carriers are very powerful. This battleship, the Hood, was way strong. Well, not way strong. It was stronger than our aircraft carrier. And he, I don't even know how much damage we took. I don't think we started flooding at all. And we just annihilated him. Aircraft carriers are a bit OP. That ended fairly well for us. Uh, I have not tried this. I'm going to be the Bismarck, like we were at the beginning. Uh, is there something better than the Bismarck? I'm going to be the Imperial Japanese. Navy Nagato. I have not heard of this. I assume it's similar to the Yamato. 
but I have not done this before. I have not been a battleship and tried to fight an aircraft carrier. I don't know how hard it's gonna be, but I'm gonna try to find the best ship I can to fight. So I think I'm going to be the HMS HUD. It's 1270 fleet power, and I'm gonna fight the, the Imperial Japanese Junio aircraft carrier. So I have more fleet power than the Junio, so hopefully I can beat it, but I am not sure. Okay, so we have to be pretty careful because I don't know how powerful the Junio is compared to us. Oh wait, oh they don't have any guns? Oh no, I don't know where to aim for, for their magazines. That could be a slight problem. So I think they're taking off fighters first. That's good, that's good. Actually, that's not great for us. Oh, we only have two 18 inch guns in the front. Oh, I didn't tell them to move. Darn it, that's bad. We wanna move. Okay, we're so we're rounding off fire, but they already have their torpedo bombers out and their torpedo bombers are already dropping torpedoes. This is not good. Whoa, wait a minute. Their plane just crashed into their own torpedo. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. They shot their plane down and it hit into its own torpedo. That's actually ridiculous. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh, we're great. We're taking a lot of damage from these zeros. Our boilers taking damage. Everything up here is taking damage. Oh, more torpedo bombers. Oh, okay. The front of our ship is getting ripped open. Okay. Please not again. Ow! Okay, it's getting even. Oh no. Okay. Oh, okay, so now it's reaching. If they get another hit, our magazines are gone. Oh my gosh, we're getting destroyed. So, oh, the bottom of our ship is being held together by just support cables. See, how are they doing? Oh, our shots are landing short. Oh, it looks like we're ripping a hole in them. Haha, <laughs> they're gonna die. No, they're not. We're getting, we're getting absolutely shredded. The only reason we're alive is because their bombers dropped late. Oh, but their real damage was from their torpedo bombers that are just pulling us down. If they have another wave of torpedo bombers, we're dead. Oh no. AA, start rounding off, please. Where's our AA? Oh, I think they killed our AA. Oh my gosh, I think their fighters killed our AA. Oh, yes, because they dropped early. They're arcing too much. They're just hitting the front of our ship that's already swelling and not getting to there oh yes oh they're missing all of their dive bomb i thought we might mi kill them we might kill them um actually never mind oh they're just ripping us to shreds like oh and they're ripping the middle of our ship in half oh no okay oh gosh the bottom of our hole is just being ripped apart now oh and they're dropping them on us directly now Oh gosh, we're going down. How much damage do we do to them? Oh, actually? Wow, we did a pretty huge amount of damage. We've taken out three of theirs. It's not a huge amount of damage, but it's kind of crazy. I don't think I've done this much damage to an aircraft carrier before without sinking it. Um, I think our steam just dropped. Oh, that's because our boilers are underwater. Um, oh no, we're going down. Oh wow. Oh, and they're just gonna pummel us again. Is our, they just, did they literally just aim for our AA? I think they legit aim for our AA. Doesn't matter because our AA is underwater. Oh, still firing. Ugh, okay, so we lost. Aircraft carriers are kind of overpowered. Like, I mean, I could not do that much damage to them. They wrecked us. But maybe the only thing that can kill an aircraft carrier is an aircraft carrier. Hmm? Okay, so we have fought a bunch of things together, but we have not fought two aircraft carriers. So I think I'm gonna try that. I'm going to be the KMS. I forgot what the KMS stood for. I looked it up last time and I read about it. Kriegsmarine. I think it's Kriegsmarine. I don't know what the S stands for. Maybe just ship. <laughs> Maybe steamship. I have zero idea. It's probably something German. Drop it in the comments if you know. And then I'm gonna fight. So we're gonna be the, the Graf Zeppelin and fight the Illustrious. So the Illustrious does have a little bit more power than us, but I have a little card up my sleeve. Okay, so now we see this and you might notice something. There's only two types of planes on here. We've got JU-82C bombers and we've got BF-109T. That's it, we don't have any torpedo bombers, but we have an extra squadron of BF-109. So that means that we would be better, we are going to do more damage against their planes because we're gonna have more fighters. So I'm gonna launch one group of fighters and one group of JU-88s and then one fighters again. So basically what I hope for is that they launch, oh what, are those? No, those are Spitfires. Oh, I thought that was like an American. Oh, I think they're just Supermarine Spitfires. And then, are those torpedo bombers or dive bombers? I don't know about the British things. No, those are torpedo bombers. These are the torpedo bombers. Maybe those are dive bombers. I do not know. But now we can just see the air combat going on. I have to keep it in slow speed. There might be a little bit of lag. I'm sorry, my computer's kind of bad. This game uh, doesn't have much settings, so you can't change the settings much about how well it runs. So I'm only gonna be sending out a few fighter, like squadrons each, cause I don't want too many planes in the sky. Then it's gonna crash and not gonna make for good for the video. Oh, it's frozen a little bit already. Oh, oh, it unfroze for a second. Okay, it's super slow. I'm gonna, like, let it pause. I'm honestly just gonna let it pause so the game can sort of sort itself out a little bit. Okay, so let's, let's see how are we doing. We have taken a few little hits from these fighters. Our fighters are taking off, doing a bunch of damage to their torpedo bombers. Oh, and it played without me asking. Oh my gosh, it unfroze. It's been literally a minute. 
Our JU88 bombers are going in. Are they going to drop nicely? No, they dropped early. I'm going to send in everything. Probably wasn't a good idea. Oh, and they all got shot down. Okay, so I do not know how well I am doing. It looks like they are doing way better because our first JU88 bombers missed. Uh, we do not have any anti-aircraft left, and our fighters were all shot down. Oh, they're just they're destroying our dive bombers. Oh, gosh. Please drop. Please drop and do damage. We hit. Oh, my gosh. We hit. We hit. We're hitting. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. It's freezing. Ah. Our, bom our dive bombers are hitting. Wow, we're doing a lot of damage. I think we just dropped one of their planes in the water. Oh, whoa, their deck is falling under. That's good. Hopefully their planes can't get out. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage, and I think it's because I didn't fire all of my things at the same time. I tried to fire things in waves, and if you fire things in waves, it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, we're getting destroyed. Oh, why do you keep sending so many planes at me? AI, why do you do these things? Oh, actually, I'm doing some significant damage to the front of their ship, and there's less lag. Oh, wow, we're doing damage. I think it's because of our guns. Our 8-inch guns are doing the damage here, because they don't have very powerful guns. Oh, come on. And the front of their ship just ripped away so my dive bombers okay i'm gonna have my dive bombers aim like here i hope oh no we're going under too hopefully so we're going under they're taking damage but we're going under real more we've lost steam power the planes have taken off uh, and we sunk oh too bad so planes are very powerful i think i could have won that battle if i had a better pc if i was able to send all of my fighters out at the beginning followed by my dive bombers and not have lag problems i think i would have cleared up all of his torpedo bombers and fighters and then would have harassed him with all of my extra dive bombers i think i would have won the battle but sadly we will never know because i tried to manage the number because i have crashed so many times trying to do aircraft carrier battles it's insane Okay, so it seems like I can't do full-on aircraft carrier battles, but I can do something slightly different. There is something some people may have seen here. This is the IGN I-400 submarine. So, there is only one submarine in the game currently, and that is this. I'm surprised they didn't add the German U-boats first, or... Or anything but they added this one first i don't know so some of you who may not know the imperial japanese navy's i-400 was a aircraft carrier submarine not like a giant aircraft carrier as a submarine it's like a little thing like this that had some planes on it so i'm gonna be fighting that because both of them have planes it is quite fast i think so i'm gonna have to guess where it's going to be soon so i'm gonna guess there i have no idea so i'm gonna guess there too so our fighters are taking off too so now it's basically just a game of luck to see whose fighters are gonna kill whose oh, and we also have these torpedoes Oh, he just fired his torpedoes. Did our torpedo? Okay, so both of our torpedoes just collided. So these torpedo launchers are really close together, and when they fire, they bob up and down, and they collide when they hit each other. So sometimes they don't, but most of the time they do, which is awfully annoying most of the time. Are they gonna drop? Oh, yes! Perfect! Oh my gosh, perfect. Oh my gosh, perfect. Oh my gosh, I think both dive bomber squadrons are hitting perfectly. Oh my gosh, I did perfect aim there. I think, I think every single bomb hit. Did they hit us? I think only their fighters did. I'm gonna fire this one separately. Is he going down? Oh, come on. Okay, so I think one's gonna hit, but this guy's not, because he's just going down. Let's see. Oh, directly into the front of their ship. Okay, now we can see their exposed torpedo tubes. Oh, and reload so quickly. We reload very quick. Oh, and basically, we only get to use our, our planes once per battle because they take so long. Oh, dude, I forgot to readjust that one. Oh, we're still doing some damage, though. Okay, one is in, and boom, two. Oh, I was hoping we'd hit there. Oh, yeah, I think he's going down anyway. Yep, he is going down beneath the seas. I was hoping that the fight in the air would have been more exciting, but it's really not. Like, it's like two squadrons that fly past each other and shoot at each other, and then the dive bombers go and pass each other because we've got the exact same loadout of planes. Yay, we won. Woo. Thing is, the submarines, you can submerge, but the enemy doesn't know how to do that. And when you do submerge, it's really hard to angle yourself to fire upwards because the torpedoes can't fire upwards as much. They have to, like, surface and unsurface. And honestly, it takes way longer to kill the enemy, like, just balling it out. Okay, so that was Ships at War. I think that we've learned this episode that planes are very OP. Aircraft carriers are kind of crazy, and they're very hard to beat because they create so much lag <laughs> that you can't actually beat them. If you like this video, please drop a like, leave a comment down below if you really enjoyed please hit that subscribe button it really helps me out i will definitely be doing more of this game in the near future thanks a lot for watching see ya